Okay, hi everyone. Um, in this video, I'm just going to take you through uh, Microsoft's Office 2010 technical preview. I thought it would give you guys a sneak preview to what it's like. It's currently in obviously the beta phase, so it's not around for public release at the moment, but for usual sources, you can get your hands on it. Um, I'll just show you what it includes. As you can see, all the usual suspects there. Access, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, Publisher, OneNote, Outlook, etc. And all the other programs which I'm not really interested in and don't often use. But they'll all be in the final release, I'm sure. So let's just have a quick look at the programs. I've got a few shortcuts on my desktop. I'm just going to use the uh, the usual suspects here and take a look at them and see what they're like inside. Um, I suspect they're going to be quite like Microsoft Office 2007 in the way they look. Um, I think since 2007 the feel of Office has been very Vista-like and the Aero theme has been very nice nice to look at within and obviously very nice new features compared to Office 2003 which kind of feels quite ancient now if you go back and use that or you can go back and use Office 2000. Um, so let's just take a look at these, um, see how fast they are and see if we can see any major changes from 2007. And I'm obviously running this in Windows 7 64-bit and build 7600, which hopefully is the RTM. Otherwise, I'm going to have to install it again. Okay, anyway, let's get going. Um, we'll go for Word first. Wow. Now you can see there how fast it started up. That was probably a lot less than half a second, which is always very helpful. And I guess the theme is very similar to Word 2007. You have all the tabs, you insert page layout, references, mailings, review, and view. Everything's pretty intuitive, very easy to, to work with. Quite a nice clean appearance as well. Um, one big thing you notice on the left is this File F tab. Now as I was playing around with this earlier, this tab is common to all of the Office 2010 programs. So as you can see you have your usual save, save as open and close, but then you also have recent documents, you have all your templates, printing, sharing, and specific help and training with Word in this one. So let's just have a look at the other programs as well and see see the similar themes throughout. So I'll go quickly into Access. Again, extremely fast to start up, which I can only imagine should get faster. And again, we're working on a tab-based system. And notice the similarities with this file F. I'm not exactly sure what that stands for. Um, this tab on the far left. Again, it's a very nice layout. And obviously you can start templates. Have a look at your recent uh, databases, in this case because it's Access. Open and close documents, and again, get specific information for Microsoft Access. Okay, so we'll just leave those two alone there. Let's have a look at Excel. Very quickly to load up again. I'm not exactly uh, much of an Excel user, but those who do use it, I'm sure we'll find it just as easy as 2000, 2003, 2010 Office. I don't think really you can change much in a day, in a spreadsheet, I mean. Again, we're looking at a tab-based system. I'm sure there's some very nice new graphs for all those uh, Excel geeks out there who just like to make graphs all day. And again, we're looking at this colored tab. So, and the tab is, the far left tab is a uh, colored depending on um, obviously what program you're opening so Excel is classic green um, kind of a burgundy for access and word is blue and finally let's have a look at PowerPoint again very quick tab based design very similar to 2007 so there's nothing new there and again you have this file F tab which looks very nice, it looks very simple to use as always
So you have styles there, you can quickly make some nice presentations. And we'll just close them. And there you have it. So that was just a quick look at the new 2010 Office Suite. Hopefully coming soon. And looks like they're doing a good job over there. Got Windows 7 coming out in October. And 2010 won't be far behind. Okay, thanks guys. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And also while you're there you can check out my video on the Windows 7 RTM release 7600. Um, which is just uh, a video with some music to have a look and see the differences.